line of gravity. So the line of gravity is an imaginary vertical line that extends up and down from the center of gravity. So this is perhaps um, also known as a plumb line. So the uh, line of gravity uh, for this character standing uh, fairly straight, uh, well, if the center of gravity is located uh, roughly here, then the line of gravity uh, goes up and down. So you see it would travel uh, somewhat uh, through the center of the head, down the center of the body, uh, so on down. Now, uh, because of the location of the line of gravity uh, passing through the center of gravity, we already know that if we balance uh, an object on a pivot, that the uh, pivot is directly above or below the center of gravity. So that means that the line of gravity uh, must pass through the pivot point, like you see in these drawings. Now, one uh, way to think about the line of gravity uh, for a uh, character is if you imagine the character standing on a balance board, which is a board that has a, a roller underneath it, that the um, uh, when the character is in a balanced uh, pose, then the line of gravity uh, should go uh, straight down through the through the roller. Now, we also know that uh, when an object's hanging, the um, center of gravity is somewhere below the point of suspension. So uh, this tells us that the, the line of gravity must be uh, straight down from the point of suspension. So uh, the line of gravity follows the same line as uh, the rope or string or wire, whatever is uh, holding, holding the object up. Now here's uh, an example. There's a, a doll uh, and uh, this doll is hanging from um, different points uh, on its body. And uh, the center of gravity for this doll is uh, located a little bit uh, lower than a, a normal human center of gravity. Uh, the main reason is the doll has a, a hollow plastic head. Um, our heads are uh, relatively heavy, which positions our center of gravity uh, a little higher in the torso. But but anyway, this um, uh, these photos indicate that uh, here's the location of the doll's center of gravity, and we see the line of gravity extending down uh, from the uh, uh, point of suspension. Now, uh, as um, was mentioned before, the center of gravity will uh, shift according to a character's pose. And so here we see the doll, uh, when the doll raises uh, its arms, then the location of the center of gravity uh, shifts uh, higher in the torso. And uh, we see that indicating uh, here from this hanging pose that the um, uh, position of the line of gravity uh, shifts with it. Well, let's, uh, let's see an example from uh, animation from uh, Madagascar 3. Stand back. <laughs> You're in Monte Carlo. Stand back. <laughs> so, uh, if you notice, uh, Alex the lion is um, hanging from this uh, rope. And uh, the estimate is that the center of gravity uh, for Alex is located here uh, in the middle of his chest. Now, uh, of course, Alex is a lot more top-heavy than a, than a human character, and so that is a, a, not a bad estimate of where his um, center of gravity would be. Now, uh, you may realize this um, a uh, scene in uh, Madagascar 3 is uh, playing um, homage to the uh, scene in Mission Impossible where Tom Cruise 
is hanging uh, from a wire. And uh, of course, because uh, Tom Cruise's center of gravity is located uh, just, just above the hips, that's where the point of suspension for, uh, for that um, harness is. Uh, for Alex the Lion, had the animators placed the harness uh, down around um, uh, Alex's hips, uh, well, he wouldn't look like he's believably uh, hanging from that from that position because it's it would be hard to believe that uh, Alex's center of gravity would be uh, located um, down here by his hips, uh, given that um, his uh, body is so uh, top heavy. Uh, one uh, last thing about um, the center of gravity and line of gravity is uh, the line of gravity uh, has to be consistent uh, no matter what the uh, camera angle. And uh, along with that, the shadow of a character has to have a consistent uh, line of gravity. So in these photos of a, of a doll, we see that uh, here's uh, an estimate of where the center of gravity would be, and we see the line of gravity since the doll is, is hanging from a string. And in the shadow, we see that there's the uh, line of gravity, and it um, approximately, or it looks consistent with the uh, center of gravity uh, being uh, projected uh, into the into the shadow. So uh, the point here is that. Regardless of the camera angle or uh, the shadow uh, of the character, everything has to uh, look consistent that uh, gravity is pulling uh, down on the object or the character and that we have a, a consistent um, line of gravity. So in, uh, in summary, uh, the line of gravity is an imaginary vertical line that extends up and down from the center of gravity. Uh, since the center of gravity depends on a character's weight distribution and pose, uh, the line of gravity will shift when, um, when those things uh, change. And finally, the line of gravity uh, passes through a rope holding a character that's hanging, so uh, it's easy to imagine that the line of gravity uh, simply is a plumb line extending down uh, along the direction of the of the rope. Now, the line of gravity is a lot more important for uh, establishing uh, stationary balanced poses, so uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of the line of gravity in the future tutorials. So we'll uh, see it then.